checking the battery. It's uh, 6 30 in the morning. Um, just from the nighttime use, it's down to 12.4. I think the battery's probably on its last legs. It's three years old from when I own got the trailer, so this is its third year, and I think it's had a rough life. It is a cloudy day for the moment, cloudy and windy and cool, so it may not do a great job for solar today. We are following this trail, which is completely unmarked and seems to go in kind of a wrong direction from what I thought it would go, but as you come into this forest area, um, the last turn off the road, there's a little kiosk out there that has a big map of the whole, practically the western Adirondacks, and uh, they indicate there's a trail that goes all the way over to the lake and this kind of would be in the place where they indicate so we're hoping that this is it but this looks very much like a very old logging road that people with four wheelers occasionally use during hunting season so but it's an interesting hike there's a lot of little stream crossovers it's all right for the boys, they can get drinks. For me, it just means wet feet, which is what's normal. Ugh. The nice thing about walking through the woods is that there's no dew. We had to go through a big field where the grass was up to my knees, and so my pants are now soaked. But in the woods, there's no dew on the on the vegetation because it doesn't get through the trees. This is supposed to take us to the upper dam and what they call the Eagle Overlook, which is a kind of a gorge, a cut. Caesar's out hunting again. The only danger of them wandering around the Adirondacks like this is that there are porcupines around here. So I gotta keep an eye on them because I don't want them to get hit by a porcupine. They are painful. It's awfully dark in here. I hope there's enough light for the camera. Our trail seems to have ended in a large swamp. <laughs> However, we are going to continue. Um, there's, a, there's a deer trail here. It seems to skirt the swamp a little bit. And we're hoping that we can find the Beaver River. If not, if I get lost and die out here, if somebody finds the camera, it would be nice if they'd post this video on my YouTube channel so I do get credit for it. It was a nice hike. I can hear the falls. So we're gonna continue to break through this. Well, we finally broke over the, out of the really thick scrub and we found this path, although this is not a path. It's the blaze markings for the state land boundary. And they have to paint these every three years. Well, I believe we found what we were looking for. This is the gorge. And that is straight down <laughs> to the river. We are at the top of this cliff and quite an interesting thing is that there's protection for uh, climbers. They must climb these walls. Well, this is neat. <laughs> this is like a 
campsite and somebody somebody left their climbing helmet here. Ooh, what a view. So there we are. Beaver River flow through the uh, through the cut. They must climb up here. Well, that looks like a nice pool. I wonder if I could dive into that. <laughs> so, it's a nice view up here too. We are at another area, and this is what's in the rocks here. These are protection anchors to clip your rope to so you can go off the edge and down into the woods. What do you guys think? Huh? Is this a good hike? No bugs. No bugs on either of you. Okay, let's go. That looks like my bathtub right there. I never start campfires because I don't like the smoke, I don't like the heat, I don't like gathering firewood, I don't bring firewood. But this campsite had a fire ring here and it looked like it had been taken over by weeds so um, I figured I had to redeem it. So we gathered up some wood and made a campfire. Really nice. And there are no bugs out tonight. I don't know why. It's not cold. It's 60 or 70 degrees. Perfect temperature. The other reason I don't do a campfire is because the boys think they're their sticks. So they like to uh, steal them. but I don't like being covered in smoke. So, my campfire. What do you got, Dakota? What do you got? Show me. It's a stick. <laughs> Caesar's going to steal it from him. No. Not in my car. We're at an accessible fishing dock. Handicap accessible in the Krogan easement. We figured we'd check it out because this looks pretty cool. This is a pretty long path. I wonder if anybody's ever actually used this. Pretty interesting boardwalk here. Guess they didn't want to cut down any trees to make it into a straight line. Well, here's the end of the path. Now they can't get all the way to the water. I don't know if they're supposed to be able to camp here. Kingfisher, some bluegill nests, 
pumpkin seeds. Probably some bass in here. This is nice. It's pretty sh shallow around the shore. As I've said before, you never know what you're going to find in the Adirondacks. Here's an old John boat. Just left here on the side of the lake. Kind of rotted away. But uh, I bet that was fun when it was in use. <laughs>